There's currently a trend that I want to talk about in education in general, and we can use it for study abroad, but, well, the Gilman does, but I want to talk about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, those four fields, because there's a really big push right now to, to pump money into people who are studying for these things. And some of it has different stipulations like being a teacher, but others it's just these areas. Up here to the top left, I'm talking about IIE.org slash Gilman. This is the Gilman Scholarship. They recently started a STEM program for summer, so that's something you might want to look into. The only thing about this is you need high financial needs, so that's a Pell Grant, so you need to receive financial aid to be eligible for that. This one is just another example. You can look at it, courtland.edu slash noise. This is a National Science Foundation scholarship for students at SUNY Cortland, and you can apply for it. I've talked about it in other videos. But there is some serious money out there for STEM. And if you're considering one of these fields, or if you're talented in one of these fields, it may be a good idea to do the research and see what fields or what's available at different colleges and universities. Because that may be a field that you want to pursue. The other thing is, say you want to be a scientist and you're really interested in, let's say, birds, ornithology. You may want to add Costa Rica on there. If it's for the Gilman, by the way, the Gilman is a study abroad scholarship, so you've got to spend a semester abroad. So you may want to look through and find something in Costa Rica or maybe something in Africa as far as maybe it's, it's desert or birds or elephants or whatever you want to look for, you may want to find that. If you're a math teacher, you may want to find a good math program abroad and maybe there's one in Egypt. So start there and say, hmm, would this be something that interests me? Because right now it's one way that you can find quite a bit of funding for your education. Now with these scholarships, the one thing you've got to be careful of is they have certain criteria that you have to meet. And like with the noise, it's teaching for two years in a high needs school, but high needs doesn't exactly mean inner city. It can mean high needs for science, which everybody's high needs for physics because there's such a huge shortage of physics teachers. So just make sure when you're looking for STEM awards that they fit the that you're willing to do whatever the stipulations that the scholarships have on them but if you do that and you're in one of these fields and the reason there's so much money in it right now is because there's it's a scarcity but we'll call it rare it's rare to find people who are going into them so they're trying to give financial incentives so that you do it so if you're one of those people that feels like they can do it take on one of those fields, find a college that has a good program such as Cortland with the noise and, and see. The other thing is when does the program expire? Because not all these programs last forever. So again, it comes back to the research and you're going to take a risk in looking around and seeing what fits, but it's one that's going to have planning behind it. You're going to plan for it and you're going to talk to people. If you do that, you can definitely find quite a bit of money. The noise is $12,500. The Gilman was $5,000 to travel. And if you go to Costa Rica for $5,000, that'll pretty much cover the trip, at least the ones I was managing. So depending on the duration and what you do down there. And when these scholarships, these are national awards. So when they cut you a check, this is with the National Science, or when they give you the award, like the National Science Foundation, they cut you a check. I received a check for $3,000 that came to me that I could use any way I wanted to. They were going to confirm I was on the program after I got there, and I was, and that's what I used it for, but you can use that for whatever you need. You don't have to go abroad, but in the application, it just makes you a stronger candidate. So if you're a student looking into one of these fields, it's the hot place right now. And so if you're working hard in math, science, or science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, don't sell yourself short and just do the research and find what your college has available or what's available nationwide because you might be able to pull down a, a really nice scholarship that'll help you with your education. Good luck with that.